Mr. McIntosh here, and today we are going to talk about the 2020-005 security update for macOS Mojave 10.14 and High Sierra 10.13. This will probably be the last security update for the High Sierra operating system. We're getting so close to the Big Sur release that... Um, there's just not enough time to probably release any any more security updates. I'm guessing it's it's September 25th, and I'm guessing Big Sur is going to be released probably within a month or so. And security updates are released every three months, so around every three months. So we're probably just not going to have the time. And what uh, Apple does is they do minus two uh, operating systems. So once Big Sur comes out, they will support Mo, uh, Catalina and Mojave um, for security updates. Usually they stop all uh, bug fixes and, 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 and only focus on security updates. So um, it's kind of like a sayonara to Hi Sierra. Um, this is it. This is the last update it's going to see. So let's jump in real quick here and see what, what's new for the security update. As you can see here, I've got my article up here that talks about the update. Whenever an update comes out, I, I tear into it and I pull all the information out of it and show it to you so to save you time. So you can only go, so you only need to go to one place to get this information. Um, one of the one of the first things I wanted to talk to talk about is important to uh, macOS system administrators, and that is the fact that uh, Apple's made a change in the update system to, or the software update binary to say that the software update ignore uh, binary this is this is it right here software update dash dash ignore will uh, is deprecated and they're saying that in the future you will only be able to manage um, deferrals to be able to block the the next version of the operating system through mobile device management um, we said hey we need this feature and please consider uh, keeping it in until we have these controls. So Apple said, okay, you know what, we'll, we'll do that. We'll, we'll leave the, the software update ignore in for both High Sierra and Mojave. The only problem is, is when 2020-004 when uh, came in with that fix included, it wasn't working for user-approved MDM mobile devices. So that means if you did a quick enroll, like let's say into Jamf, and you didn't take the system through DEP, uh, that's when the ignore just didn't work. It was broken. We, re we reported that to Apple, and I've got good news in the 2020-005 the update, it fixes that problem, so the ignore function works. So if I put in software update dash ignore space macOS Catalina, like actually, let's, let's do that real quick so you can actually see what that looks like. And you can see it's ignored updates. Now keep in mind, we're on Catalina right now, so it would normally show up right here in between those brackets. So, um, but that's what you could see. And you can also see ignoring software updates is deprecated. The ability to ignore individual updates will be removed in a future release of Mac OS. So that's an example of what you would do or if you would want to uh, block the next version of the operating system. Um, we could actually try can actually try to ignore the point release update so since we're on Catalina now I can show you what that looks like software update that's just ignore uh, Mac OS Catalina 10.15.7 update and there you go. Look at that. It's in, in the ignored updates. And keep in mind, you, you have to read this other part too. The software update, ignore updates are eligible for, the only ones that you can put in there are ones that are actually eligible in the software update list. So if we do a software update list, you have to be able to see it inside here to be able to actually ignore it. Um, usually sometimes people will pr try to pre-put it in there um, and that that's saying that that's that will not work. 
if it is not eligible it, uh, to be ignored. So, so the ones that we can put in there, as you can see, uh, are only Safari because I ignored the point release update. So that's why I don't see it in there. Now watch this. If I do software update dash dash reset ignored, there it is. Now let's do it. It's all it's cleared now. You can see between the two, we can do a, a list again, and we should see the Catalina update in there. And again, why would you want to do this, right? We want to do this, uh, or administrators want to do this mostly because if something's wrong with the update or we want to be able to test to make sure all of our software works before we release the update to the population. Most users are going to want to jump in right away, but I, even if you're a, a regular user, I would still wait a little bit. And there you go. You can see the updates right there after we reset the ignored function. So that's that. Let's jump right back in here. So... Um, I put in here all the information about the update. Um, the Mojave security update is 1.69 gigabytes. I've got a, a nice download link here for you that brings you right to the page that'll download the package. I just showed you a way that you can install the update from the command line. All you gotta do is, is do the software update list and then sudo software update dash I to install and then the name of the update. That's one way to install it. The second way to go it was to, to, would be to go into System Preferences and then go into uh, Software Update. And then you'll see it come up here. There's a security update in Mojave and Hi Sierra. And then just click, click Update. It'll download and then it'll install and re restart your system. So those are the three different ways that you can do it. This will do the package. You, you click this download link and it'll bring you right to the 005 update here as you can see and click on this download button and it'll say would you like to download click allow and there it goes it's downloading uh the the security update once that's finished uh you'll see a package in your downloads folder and you can install the update this way you can do it any way you want any way that you feel like you would like to install this update is fine they all do the same thing they're all the same package so back to the high sierra version uh this one's a little bit bigger to one 2.12 gigabytes and i've got another link down here um, i've also put in here a link to the security uh information for this direct to apple if you want to take a look at that it'll bring you right to the page with 005 uh, this particular one only has uh four uh, security fixes sometimes there's up to 40. i've seen some of these updates are huge right uh this one's not particularly big is only comes with three and I show you uh, here oh yeah by the way uh, Safari was not updated a lot of times Safari was updated when you download the security update or I mean excuse me um, you'll see that in the downloads part it'll be an, an extra download and it was not released here um, the T2 Bridge O update I keep track of that too if you have a 2018 or newer um, Mac, you'll, you'll have the T2 chip, and except if you have the iMac, that's, that, that only came in 2020. So I keep tracking that was updated. So it goes to 17, 16, 16,610. And you don't really have to usually keep an eye on that. that that's usually something that kind of works behind the scenes, but if that's something that you want to know, that's why I keep this here. I also have all the previous uh, patch releases here that you can go back if you wanted to, to read about those. Now, um, back to the security-related content, there's only uh, four fixes if you wanted to read about those. You gotta look at the available four. Some of the uh, security fixes, and that's why I only enlist the ones that are for um, High Sierra or Mojave in the security update article because I don't wanna put in the, the Catalina ones. I put the Catalina ones in my uh, Catalina article. So uh, that's it, pretty much it for the security update. Um, again, it just came out yesterday on Friday, or excuse me, September 24th, 2020. So it's still fresh and new. Um, I would give it just a little bit to uh, bake out there to see if there's any kind of problems will, uh, pop, that will pop up. I'll let you know if something comes up. Uh, I will always up, I'll come back and update, like if there's an issue with the installer or, or something that someone finds that it does fix, I will put this in the article and you can follow me on Twitter and you, you can see I always put the latest updates on my uh, Twitter feed to keep you informed. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Um, my next video will talk about uh, Mac OS Big Sur Beta 8.
Uh, thanks a lot. We'll talk to you soon.